So hemocyanin isn't just found in mollusks and arthropods. Arthropod-like hemocyanin has also been found in velvet worms. So velvet worms belong to the phylum Onychophora, which is also thought to include a small Cambrian creature called Hallucigenia. So like Hallucigenia, velvet worms have two claws on each leg and a pair of simple eyes. In velvet worms, their claws are retractable, and velvet worms are the only living members of Onychophora. So velvet worms have a tracheal system, so them having hemocyanin seems redundant, but velvet worms are thought to be arthropods' closest living relatives. So velvet worms are thought to have split from arthropods within the last 600 million years, so after arthropods' ancestors are thought to have first evolved hemocyanin. So velvet worms are thought to have evolved from the same ancestor as arthropods that had hemocyanin 600 million years ago. So arthropods, velvet worms and microscopic animals called tardigrades fall under the proposed clade panarthropoda. So a clade is a group of organisms that includes all the descendants of a common ancestor. So for example, dinosauria is a clade and because clades include all the descendants, birds are all classified as dinosaurs. So panarthropods are segmented and generally have a ventral nervous system. So for example, velvet worms have two ventral nerve cords and arthropods like lobsters have one ventral nerve cord. So ventral refers to the animal's underside. So tardigrades also have a ventral nervous system. So chordates, including humans, have a dorsal nervous system with humans' spinal cords running along their backs, which develop from dorsal hollow nerve cords. So velvet worms also have a pair of antennae, which are sensory organs. So most arthropods have at least one pair of antennae, and it's thought that arthropods all descended from an ancestor with antennae. However, it's not known whether velvet worms and arthropods evolved antennae independently of each other. So unlike arthropods, velvet worms don't have an exoskeleton and instead are supported by pressurised internal fluid called a hydrostatic skeleton and so they're actually said to feel just like velvet, hence the name. Some other features of velvet worms is that they shoot adhesive slime at their prey and they don't have joints in their legs like arthropods do. And at least one species of velvet worm is also highly social with a strict dominance hierarchy.